Well, presenters, welcome back to 1424 Basketball Training, where the goal is to take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. In this video, um, reacting to when you're the best player in the NBA, but nobody cares. Um, thank you, Vukarov, for the idea. So let's check it out. Hopefully this isn't, uh, you know, spam or some nonsense. All right, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Hopefully you guys can hear this. MVP is not individual achievement. <clears throat> it's political, man. It's not value. Numbers, dominance, presence, intangibles, yep. Uh, valuable, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant. These videos was not brought to you by Raycon because thank you to my, I don't know, 600 subscribers. I need more. I need a thousand plus to start making pennies on YouTube. Thirty points per game back then was a lot harder than thirty poor thirty points per game now. <laughs> they had to give it to Carmelo, man. They gave it one year to Charles Barkley too. I told you guys, man. It's political. It's political. It's marketing. It's it's social. Things get stale. It's like things in the media. Um, if the storyline gets old, people get disinterested. So you got to you gotta give it to somebody else just for eyeballs. Yep. Yep. It's, uh, it's marketing. It's business. You need eyeballs. That's why people do clickbait videos. That's why news is all corrupt. They just want the most extreme stuff. Yep. People want good stories, man. They don't want boring people. Jokic, Jokic got a form of, I don't know, Jokic Brothers channel. And he's got to hype himself up like LaMelo Ball. He needs a, he, he needs a LeVar Ball in his corner. Will Chamberlain. 50 points per game. What the heck? Kobe, rest in peace, Kobe. Regular season MVPs and their team's playoff seeding. Ugh.
Nash. Nash stole these ones. Top of my mind here, Nash. This is this is the one where they robbed Kobe. And there were some other ones in here where they robbed uh, Jason Kidd. I think Duncan. Barkley robbed Jordan here. Uh, Malone robbed Jordan. Shaq. I mean, Iverson that one year maybe. But most of these should have been like Shaq. That was a triple double year. He he then did it to what two more years in a row. <laughs> yep. Nope. He's not going to win it, guys. <clears throat> Find me some Nikola Jokic marketing stuff. What, what brand does he wear? Does he sell watches, Rolexes, Pumas, Nikes? Does he have car dealerships, skis? Giannis, put in Jokic, where's Jokic? <laughs> This is this is what I mean the other day, man. This dude, it, it's so easy for this guy. Um, the only, the knock on him that I will have is he's got to do it night in, night out, nonstop. Like, he, like if he had the energy and and I don't know the will to just dominate. I guess I don't know what is this points per game per minutes per game. His stuff would be up here if he was in like the best shape of his life and and had the mentality of just destroying everybody he'd be up here somewhere he'd, he'd play more minutes and he'd dominate even more longer but it's a grind it's a grind to be the number one player all the time so it's hard to carry a team all the time because um that team will depend on you so much they will just stare at you Happened Kobe's year, um, you know, you get the spectator kind of thing. Sometimes if you ever played on a team with a, a really, really good player, you just turn into a fan and you find yourself just watching that guy play instead of actually playing with them. <laughs> I will make a bet, a dollar bet or $14 bet that Jokic will not win the MVP. Purely, purely off of NBA business marketing. It's, it's way sexier to get Kevin Durant without Kyrie Irving. Um, it's way sexier for Steph Curry. With the Warriors being first place, being a small guy, very marketable. Maybe all the tech people in, in San Francisco are going to vote for him. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Giannis, Nikola Jokic. Uh, I mean, those are decent betting odds, but uh, that's a sucker bet, man. Those are Vegas sucker bets. If you want, if you want the asymmetric risk, when I talk about the, you know, stocks and stuff like that, you want asymmetric risk when you're betting. So, you either want want to bet on the sure thing, so like this is a uh, Steph Curry or Durant, or you know, 
Giannis, I don't think it's going to happen. Anybody in this whole range here, I don't think it's going to happen. And then if you know, like when I say asymmetric, maybe throw your money on Chris Paul. Somehow, let's say they, they catch fire at the end of, and the, the Suns go crazy and uh, Curry gets injured, Durant gets injured, and uh, Giannis, you know, they don't do so well. And Jokic, they're in like sixth place. Somehow, Chris Paul wins the MVP being a 40-year-old dude, um, and you'll get 10000 to 100 on your money or plus 10000 on your money. So <clears throat> that's, uh, I don't know, betting strategy. Go ask your average Fran who Jokic is. I'll have no idea. They'll talk about Giannis and Curry. All the kids I ask who's their favorite player, LeBron, Giannis, maybe even Dame Lillard sometimes. I've even heard uh, Taco. A lot of kids will say Taco Fall. Never even seen a, a Jokic shirt. I've seen a John Morant shirt around LA. I've seen Kawhi, Paul George, LeBron's, Curry's, Giannis. CP gets a lot of love because he was out in Clipperville. Even Kawhi Leonard. There, if you guys are in sales, right? Uh, facts tell emotions sell. When I was training a lot of people to sell, salesmen, facts tell emotions sell. So <clears throat> give me all these numbers, man. It don't mean nothing. It does not mean nothing. I'm pretty rational. Most people are not rational. Most people are very, very emotional. He is definitely one of a kind, man. <sighs> Jokic is definitely not a highlight machine. He's Kevin McHale, Larry Bird on steroids, or not even on steroids, just bigger, stronger. Larry Bird, Kevin McHale with some... Uh, no, yeah, that's perfect, actually. Larry Bird, Kevin McHale. Very, very similar to Tim Duncan. Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Tim Duncan. <laughs> Ask basketball players who good, who's good. They'll say Jokic. Ask fans, ask media who's really good. They'll say uh, somebody else. Rudy Gobert. Sage Steel. Also right now, it's like... He never goes viral. You got to go viral in, in today's world, man. I was on a, I don't know, I've been doing these videos for a long time. I've been doing Instagram literally for, I don't know, years, posting consistently all the time. The algorithm doesn't pick it up if it's not exciting, if it's not clickbait, if it's not the, I don't know, prank videos or, or scaring videos. One of my kids posted on uh, his TikTok and uh, I don't know what it was. It caught a trend and and he, he went super excited. He's like, coach, 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 you went crazy. You know, his video, which made no sense to me. Um, I don't know, some kind of weird dance, 100,000 views or something like that on TikTok. And uh, I got I got that same TikTok sent to me by other players, former players. They're like, coach, you went viral. I was like, I didn't do anything. I just stood in his video. And uh, <laughs> some of that stuff makes no sense. So 
Jokic has to go viral somehow. I don't know. Dunk on LeBron. Uh, hit a game-winning Sambor shuffle three. Like that ugly little Sambor shuffle. It, it has to be a game-winning buzzer beater before, before it gets popular like Dirk's one-legged fade. The thing that most went uh, viral is his fight against, uh, I don't know, I already forgot who it was. But then the brothers trolling and, and the Twitter account and stuff like that. Oh my God, defensive plus minus. You guys know I hate on him all the time on defense. So they, they will exploit him all the time. But uh, this is a pretty impressive numbers here. <clears throat> does not mean he's individually a great player. It just means the team sucks without him on the floor. So it's a, it's slightly misleading. Um, like right here, Draymond Green really anchors his defense. Like who's, who's replacing Jokic. So stats lie, man, stats lie all the time. So I can formulate all kinds of stats and, and get somebody prove a point with stats. It's bull crap. Kind of like a, you know, that, that thing that's going around, there's not too many people getting sick, but uh, everybody's still got to wear a mask and show, show vaccine and vac, you know, proof around LA. So it's kind of weird. So understand that uh, facts tell you can lie with stats all the time. Ah, uh, what did I learn? I learned that uh, the, the plus minus the the stats yes you can lie some efficiency stuff yes you can get some good stuff from it. some very controversial stuff right now time there's not 24 hours in one day if you guys really think about it there's not 24 hours in one day one day is not made up of 24 hours 86 400 seconds it's not um time it's a made-up thing by humans so think about that why do, why do you have to change your clock back, you know, every four years, every leap years? Because it's not true. Time, 24 hours a day is not true. So, so certain things, certain metrics are very, very useful. Time is very, very useful. It gets the whole world on the same metric. It gets the whole world on the same scale. And once every four years, you have to set your clock back and, and do some weird stuff to it. It's very useful for the world to get on one, one page but it's not accurate, does not mean it's true. So uh, think about that. Stats can lie, things that you think are true aren't really, really true unless you really, really think about certain things. So some things can get pushed onto you um, if you never know where they come from or if you never really thought about it, um, you can just believe it. Maybe you're just born into a, a certain system, a communist system, a capitalist system, a socialist system, uh, a run and gun type of basketball system, an old school mentality, uh, no, no easy layups kind of system. A lot of things. Um, yeah, so he's not going to win. Sorry, guys. It's going to be Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, or somebody that makes it sound way cooler for the NBA. Until next time, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.